a blessed day and welcome this morning we will be meditating on the book of luke chapter 4 verses 14 and 15 jesus returned to galilee in the power of the spirit and news about him spread through the whole countryside he was teaching in their synagogues and everyone praised him precious ones the holy spirit was involved from beginning to the end in every aspect of christ's life this includes his birth development sinless obedience triumph over temptation preaching healing casting out demons death as well as resurrection the point of emphasizing jesus's continued dependence on the holy spirit for supernatural power for his ministry is to underscore every believer's desperate need to rely on the same source of power for both life and ministry we like him a call to proclaim the gospel to a lost world i am not speaking about the ordained ministry but rather about the ministry that is every christian's responsibility dr paul brand was speaking to a medical college in india on matthew chapter 5 verses 16 Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. In front of the lecturer was an oil lamp and its cotton wick burnt from the shallow dish of oil. As he preached the lamp ran out of oil and the wick burnt dry as a result of which the smoke made him cough. He immediately used the opportunity to illustrate a point. Some of us here are like this week. We're trying to shine for the glory of God, but we stink. That's what happens when we use ourselves as the fuel of our witness rather than the Holy Spirit. Weeks can last indefinitely, burning brightly and without irritating smoke if the fuel the holy spirit is the constant supply we are all called to minister in the power of the spirit the more we yield to the holy spirit the more he is able to move mightily through us let us pray heavenly father i need to depend more and more on the holy spirit and less on myself help me in jesus name i pray amen shalom marnata